Big weight belt with me today. This is your buddy, NFE Bodybuilder Hercules Derek Scott here at Crunch Fitness. Um, today I'm going to blast legs for you guys today. That way you can see what I did to actually bring my legs up to speed, my quads, my hams, calves, and so forth. Um, we're not actually going to go into calves today. We're going to stick to hamstrings and quads. And I'm going to show you guys how to get big wheels, NFE style. No freaking excuses. Let's go kill it. Okay, here we go. First exercise up on leg day, lying leg curls. Uh, one of my favorite exercises to get the hamstrings warmed up, force a lot of blood into those muscles. I always like to warm up the supporting muscle, or in this case, opposing muscle um, in the main muscle that I'm going to work in the movement. Um, main focus points here are to keep your butt down, and you can further do that by keeping your chest elevated slightly. Um, as you can see that I'm doing here, I'm going for full extension all the way out and a nice high heart contraction all the way up to the glutes. Okay, now you can see I'm having a little fun here on the seated leg curl um, on the hoist machine. I love the hoist machine setups. Um, it's kind of like you're on a little ride at the amusement park or something. Um, it's a lot of fun, totally different feel on the uh, each contraction you get. You can see the seat moves with you as you uh, perform the exercise. And um, I don't know, it's just, it's, just, it's just a totally different feel for me and I'm loving the hoist machines. Um, go ahead and be silly with this exercise. You can see I'm always having a lot of fun in the gym. Uh, we're working hard, training hard, monster status, but um, there's no reason you can't have fun doing it. So legs all the way out, full contraction till the heels come underneath, all the way down. Squeeze hard and uh, just enjoy this exercise. It's a great movement. Okay, this one's a uh, Romanian style deadlift, RDLs as they're called. A um, little uh, slightly different than the stiff legged version, which, uh, in which case, of course, your knees are stiff. Here, my knees are slightly bent, and what I'm trying to do is sit backwards, leading with my hips or my glutes. Um, keep that slight bend and I'm only coming up as high um, Probably about three quarters of the movement because I want to keep the tension and keep the resistance on my glutes and hamstrings um, It's a good stretch in the glutes and if you come all the way up You're going to incorporate more of the lower back. So I want to keep that resistance on the hamstrings and glutes Knees slightly bent chest elevated and of course maintain that arch in the lower back to protect that spot Here we have an all-time favorite, seated leg extension. Um, we're going to start out, again we're on the horse machine, um, loving these machines uh, as I'm sure you guys will too if you ever get a chance to use them. But uh, we're starting out with the two-legged version, um, toes pointed toward the ceiling, feet flexed, um, high hard contraction with a pause on the quads, full range of motion as always. Um, again, like I said, the seat moves with you as you perform each repetition. Um, and if you continue watching, um, I'm going to go from the two-legged version here and kind of a superset slash drop set. And uh, I'm going to go to the single-legged version, squeeze out a few more repetitions, um, and just isolate the quads a little bit more.
Here we are with another total body um, mass building exercise, everybody's favorite, the squat. Um, I'm doing these slightly different because I, I do want to keep that resistance on the quadricep and I don't want to go down past parallel um, because once you're past parallel, you're really going to hit more of the hamstrings and the glutes. Anything from the floor to parallel is going to be hamstrings and glutes from parallel on up is going to be mainly focused on the quads and today I want to focus on the quads with this exercise with this back squat so I'm trying to stay right in that range slightly around parallel up to just before lockout so that's going to keep tension on my quads for me and that's going to help bring some mass and thickness overall development to the quads um, you'll see a lot of pros doing it this way instead of ass to grass which I'm not a big fan of here we have leg press um, on this set I believe we're doing a drop set um, starting with about eight plates or so um, again I'm coming down as far as I can um, with a pretty good range of motion I'm coming all the way down knees towards my chest and I'm stopping at the point where I feel my lower back start to come off the pad and round because that's where you get a lot of your lower back tightness and, and injury on this exercise so I'm really stopping if you look at my hip And finishing up with the hack squat. Um, not a whole lot of weight here. Um, again, this is a fairly new exercise to me, so I got to protect my knees. Um, I've had some knee issues in the past, so I'm trying to be very careful with this movement. Um, this is going to help to target the teardrop, which is that connection of, of muscle fibers, of muscle, muscle tissue right around the uh, upper knee area there. So this is going to hit some hamstrings and glutes because you are going all the way down in this movement. Stopping three quarters of the way, of the way up to keep tension on the, uh, the quadriceps. And again, it's going to develop that, 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 that lower part of the quad right around the knee area. Help give you that teardrop effect. As part of uh, supersets, we threw in some walking lunges and sumo squats as well. Um, thanks for joining us. For Jesse Howe, this is NFE bodybuilder Derek Scott.